In this video, we're going to see how to take a higher order linear constant coefficient differential equation and turn it into a system of first order differential equations. So this is the uh, equation that we'll be working with. It's a fourth order differential equation. And we're going to convert this into a system of first order equations through a series of steps. So the first step that we're going to use is to take the uh, equation and solve for the highest order derivative. So we're going to get the fourth derivative alone on one side. Now when we do that, when we move all the others to the other side, we're going to change their order um, going from the lowest derivative, which is the zeroth derivative in the case of the x term, up to the highest, which would be the third derivative now. So we'll have 2x and then minus 5x prime and minus 4x double prime and plus 7 times the third derivative. And so that's our first step. I'm showing that in blue where we've rewritten the, the uh, equation. So let me come over to the side here to illustrate the next step in red. The next thing we do is we rename every derivative of x, including the zeroth derivative, um, up to the third derivative as new variables. So we let x1 equal x, x2 will be x prime, x3 will be x double prime, and x4 will be the third derivative. Okay, so we have all of those to substitute in, and then we want to make an ob observation, and that is if we were to take this last equation, let me rewrite it, x sub 4 is the third derivative, let me write the three, third derivative with three marks like that. If I was to then go on and do one more derivative, which I'm indicating here in blue, then we see that the fourth derivative is equal to x sub 4 prime. So we can now go over here uh, to the left and replace um, all these derivatives with something equivalent to them. So the fourth derivative is the same as, let me see, I want a different color for that. Let's erase that guy. So the fourth derivative is the same as x sub 4 prime. And then we have 2x sub 1 minus 5x sub 2 minus 4x sub 3 plus 7x sub 4. Okay, so that's our um, differential equation, the fourth order equation written now as a first order equation in terms of these other variables. And so remember our goal is to turn the original equation, uh, the original fourth order differential equation into a system of first order differential equations. So where does the system come from? Well let's, let's go back over here to the right and notice we have x sub 2 is x prime but x is really x1 so this equals x1 prime then x sub 3 is the second derivative, but the second derivative is the first derivative of the first derivative, or x2 prime. And this is something you may just have to go back and or pause and think about a little bit. Uh, x sub 4 then is x3 prime. All right, so there, if we look, I'm going to box those in in blue. If we look at what's in that box and we eliminate these middle pieces, we can see we have three more differential equations now that are all first order in the variables x1, x2, x3, and x4. So now what I want to do is let's write all of our, uh, rewrite all of our differential equations. Let me make myself a little borderline here. And below that, what we're going to do is go in and, and list all of our differential equations. Um, let's start with, um, we have a differential equation for x1. So x1 prime equals x2. And what I want to do is move that x2 over a little bit. I'm not going to write it in yet. Let me write in, uh, we've got uh, x1 prime 
let me put, um, whoops, hold on a second here, all right, let's put in uh, x2 prime, x3 prime equals, and then I'm going to do the x4 prime, which is the equation written above, so that's the 2 x1 minus 5 x2 minus 4 x3 plus 7 x4. And the reason I wanted to write that one last is because, I, or first, is because I want to line the variables up, up above. So x1 prime equals x2. Let me put that in above the x2 in the last equation. And then x2 prime is x3, so I'll write that in here. And x3 prime is x4. So there we have our system of differential equations. Let me put that in a red box. Now, if we were to let um, the vector x, as we have been doing, equal the vector of our functions x1, x2, x3, and x4, you can see that uh, the system of differential equations, the left side there, is actually um, x prime, x being the vector now. So let me put that in, that's x prime equals, and then if we look carefully, what we can see is we really have a, a matrix here. If we had the matrix 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1, and then our last line would be 2, negative 5, um, negative 4, and 7, we can see that if we were to multiply that by our x vector, x1, x2, x3, and x4, um, that that would actually give us the right-hand sides of all those differential equations. So what we have here, if we look at this, is this is um, our equation x prime equals ax, where um, the vector x is as above. It's the x1, x2, x3, x4 vector, and a is the matrix that we see over here to the left. So that, that shows how we take a higher order a linear constant coefficient differential equation and turn it into a system of equations. And then in the end, we've written it over here in matrix form. So let's go on and look at a second order uh, equation that uh, includes some initial conditions. So it's an initial value problem. Let's go on to that. It's on the next page here. And so what we want to do is the same thing as before. We'll solve for our um, highest derivative. So that would be x double prime, and that's going to be equal to, uh, and I'm going to rearrange the order. I'm going to put it from smallest derivative to highest. So on the other side, we'd have negative 2x plus 3x prime equals cosine uh, 3t. And like before, we'll rename our variables. So x1 is x x2 is x prime, and then we see that x2 prime is x double prime. So making those substitutions in the equation, and I can see I have a mistake here. We don't want to equals there. That's a, a plus sign. Sorry about that. And then we go back and make these substitutions. I guess while we're at it, let's fix that so it looks a little better. Uh, that's x double prime there. Oh, I'm not sure I improved things there. Let's see. Let's make one last attempt. Okay, so um, x double prime becomes x2 prime and equals minus 2x1 plus 3x2 plus cosine 3t. So that's one of our differential equations. Um, the other one is, uh, notice x prime is really the same as x1 prime. So there's our other differential equation over here 
and put it in a black box. And so the system then looks like this. It's x1 prime um, equals x2. That's our first equation. And our second equation we take from above. It's x2 prime equals negative 2x1 plus 3x2 plus cosine of 3t. So we can write that in uh, vector and matrix form. Let me, let me actually write out our vector x1 prime, x2 prime equals the matrix 0, 1, negative 2, 3 times the vector x1, x2 and then plus the vector that has 0 as its first component and cosine of 3t as its second component like that okay and so this finally I could rewrite as x equals a or that's x prime equals ax plus f Okay, where things match up like this. There's x prime, a is that matrix, the x vector is that, and the f vector, the first function, is the vector 0 and cosine 3t. Now that takes care of the uh, differential equation itself. Let's go up here now and take a look at the um, initial conditions, which I'm going to box in red here and bring those down and what we want to notice is that x is really x1 so where we have x of 0 x of 0 is equal to x1 of 0 and x prime of 0 is equal to x2 of 0. So what we can see is if we put those two together here, x1 of 0 and x2 of 0, we have the x vector at time 0 is x1 of 0 and x2 of 0, but those are just 2 and negative 3. Okay, so there are our initial conditions which we'll write like this. We have then x of 0, and I'm just going to write equals a constant vector c. So that those parts there correspond like this. And so now we have down here our entire um, initial value problem rewritten in vector form. And the vectors, notice, um, come from rewriting the system, the, uh, original equation as a system of two equations.